most respected dear family members my pranams to all of you today we will be answering many questions connected with the vedas and vedic literature so many questions have been asked on the subject the questions will be answered in such a way that each line gives you the clarification connected with the vedas when it was written what is the content of vedas how many branches or recensions are there like that hundreds of questions are being asked of which i feel that this explanation will give you the correct guidance and a direction for understanding the vedas you all know that in india we have got nearly 2000 foundation literature as the base of sanatan dharma nearly 10000 commentaries for them written in sanskrit language and about 1 lakh sub commentaries are there in different languages so everyone should understand that unlike christianity islam jew or other religion sanatana dharma is not based on single literature based on 2000 foundation literature and 10000 commentaries plus 1 lakh sub commentaries the base of sanatana dharma lies on vedas vedas are hymns or mantras written in poetical style as well as prose and they were written minimum 10000 years ago why i said 10000 years in rigveda and taitariya brahmana it has been mentioned Prahaspadi pradamam jayamanam tishyam nakshatram abhisambhuva The Jupiter planet when occulted delta kangri star constellation it looks as though the delta kangri was newly born This appears to be an astronomical phenomena which when calculated using computer device found that this happened about 4275 plus or minus 75 bc so the present form of veda can be set at least 6000 years ago and you know that the vedic mantra when we chant we give the name of the rishi who composed that particular hymn particular mantra gadino vishwamitra rishi devi gayatri chanda mitro devada a mantra connected with mitra the sun written by gadina vishwamitra rishi the name of the rishi gadina vishwamitra like this For Rigveda, there are about 200 rishis, many of them born in Vishwamitra Gotra, Vasistha Gotra, Kanva Gotra, Vyasa Gotra, Angirasa Gotra. Gotra means clan. So about 200 rishis composed the poems, the mantras. And they might have kept in different books or different books. basis and these mantras were classified by krishna dvaibayana later known as vedavyasa 
so we can say veda mantras are written by specifically a group of rishis classified into four branches as rigveda yajurveda samaveda and adharva veda by krishna dvaivayana veda vyasa when you go back you can see these hymns these mantras might have written about 2 to 3000 years prior to the present form and the vedic sanskrit might have had its origins till beyond that backwards so when you calculate it systematically you can see that the vedas might have reached the present form about 10000 years ago archaeological evidence is given through the studies from kalibangan bhagwanpura mehargar chinchudaro and so on a clear indication of indian historical knowledge starts from bc 8200 and 75 again so bc 8000 plus ad 2000 archaeological evidence about 10000 years so vedas are composed by 200 rishis approximately classified by vedavyasa it formed about 10000 years ago and the question why vedas are known as apavrushiya when you go through the vedas and its messages and the meanings you can understand that such a systematic way of presentation can be seen in that which is beyond the capacity of human beings lived 10000 years ago and apavrushiya beyond the capacity of human being another meaning those who have composed the veda mantras are not the rishis who heard mantras but seen the mantras so they are known as mantra drashtarah mantra drashtarah how a mantra can be seen unless it is written in a paper or board what they have observed in the nature connected with all living and non living beings connected with the with the earth and the planets connected with the panjabhuta air fire and so on when they could see it directly they could uh, derive the knowledge from that and that they composed in the poetical style just like you can see ravindranath tagore has written variety of poems after observing directly what happened in front of his eyes so apavrushiya means beyond the capacity of human being mantra drashtarah means those who have seen what is happening around them in living and non living being then they composed it what is meant by veda mantra mantra means mananena trayate iti mantra the one which when chanted or reminded or memorized protects you mantra yade means protecting you that is what is meant by mantra veda word means knowledge with the from which it came veda vidya vijnana and so on so the vedas are the base of knowledge so apavrushiya mantra drashtarah mantra these things we have heard veda language is something different as we used to say laukika samskrita the sanskrit language is used now in the conversation and printing the books etc that is laukika samskrita vaidika samskrita means the sanskrit used in vedic literature and vedas have got three type of meanings 
That is why generally whenever we chant a Veda Mantra at the end we chant Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. First Shanti is Adhyatmika Shanti. Second Shanti is Adhibhautika Shanti. Third Shanti is Adhidevata Shanti. Adhyatmikam, Adhibhautikam, Adhidevatam. Adhyatmikam connected with the individual who is listening the Veda Mantra or chanting the Veda Mantra or learning the Veda Mantra. The benefit or the effect of the mantras on an individual Adhyatmika. On the surroundings Adhibhautika, the impact of Veda Mantra or the meaning message of the Veda Mantra, the second part is connected with the surroundings. We can say about 25 feet radius. All those which are present within that radius will get the influence of Veda Mantra. And remember that the third as I told you, Adhi Devata. All those who are connected with the universe, cosmic system, the solar system, all these have got a bearing upon the Veda Mantra, either chanting or the content of that gives this message. So remember that we have to understand there are three types of meaning for Vedas. Adhyatmigam, Adhibhautigam, Adhidevatam. That is why generally it is told that it is difficult to understand the meaning of Vedas. Because the meaning one connected with an individual, second connected with the society or the surroundings, third connected with the cosmic system or the universe. And Veda mantras are written in very specific chandas, prosodi. Details how the Veda mantras are composed. One line can have 18 letters, sometimes 24, 28, 32, 36, sorry, 36, 40 and so on. It is known as Chandas, Gayatri Chandas, Jagadi Chandas, Anushtabh Chandas and so on. So whenever we chant a mantra, a e Hayam, a e Sukta, first we tell who has composed that particular mantra by touching res with respect the forehead, Gadino Vishwamitra Rishi. Ishgadina Vishwamitra Rishi Devi Gayatri Chanda Gayatri Chanda means a Chanda's prosody having 24 letters Mitro Devata the deity or the god or goddess about which the mantra is composed Mitro Jananya Dayadi Bruvano Mitro Dadara Pradivi Udadya Mitra Krishtera Nimisha Vijeshte Mitraya Havyam Gridamadhyu Hoda Prasamitra Matto Astu Prayaswan Yasta Aditya Shikshate Radena This is a mantra. Almost the message of the mantra. The sun is the, is the bearing factor of earth. The sun influences, guides, controls, directs the earth. The earth rotates because of the sun and the day and nights are formed because of the sun on the earth. To that sun who is responsible for all living and non-living being on the earth, we offer our gratitude by offering the havis to the fire. So this is the mantra. So the name of the Rishi who has composed the mantra is given, the prosody, the chandas is given, the deity, the devata is given. Three parameters are given with all mantras. Generally we say, why this type of four classification? 
the question is very important rigveda contains absolute knowledge why i say absolute knowledge it is the knowledge connected with the mind the body the family the society and the nation if you want to add one more parameter the human race so mind body family society nation and the human race absolute knowledge all the hymns and veda mantras which come under this particular type of knowledge dissemination has been compiled in veda mantra in rigveda mantra remember that the veda mantras do not have any stories do not have any events written or incidents the veda mantras do not tell anything about sin or virtue papa punya nothing is mentioned in vedas and veda mantras do not explain anything connected with heaven or hell so everyone should remember that unlike bible quran or any religious book of any religion vedas very specifically keep away from the word sin and virtue the swarga naraka and heaven hell plus the stories or directions etc it gives directly the message maybe one or two now i tell you why this message is given you know and how the message is given say for example satyam vada only two words tell the truth dharmam chala follow the dharmic pathway satya na pramaditavyam never deviate from the truth fact and essence dharma na pramaditavyam never deviate from the dharmic pathway these are vedic messages sangachadvam walk together gloriously walk together samvadadvam gloriously discuss together samvomana amsi janata knowing each other let you have a harmonious mental attitude deva bhagam yada purve sanjana na upasade offer everything to the divinity in such a way that you understand each other you share care and cure each other like this a veda mantra it is not giving an event but it gives the messages so rigveda is the embodiment of i would like to say embodiment of knowledge ajurveda is karma kanda rigveda is jnana kanda ajurveda is karma kanda karma kanda means it is oriented towards action performance not merely knowledge the veda mantras given in rigveda part of that is taken and used for offering in the sacrificial rituals yagas and yajnas so ajurveda mantra is divided again into two classes it is krishna ajurveda krishna ajurveda having both prose and poems shukla ajurveda only poems so they are the mantras used for performing yagas putra kamishti yaga ashwamedha yaga vajapeya yaga vishwajit yaga and so on so here karma mainly give the message offering to the gods through fire agni agnihotra somayaga 
and so on. Even without performing yagas, you can chant the mantra, there is no problem. But the mantras are meant for that. So Rigveda gives the Jnana Kanda, Ijurveda gives the Karma Kanda connected with Yagas and Etnyas. And Ijurveda has got nearly 50% of Rigveda Mantra also in that. The remaining 50% is from of its own. And Samaveda, you know it is almost fully Rigveda Mantra. Nearly 5,000 mantras are taken from Rigveda, about 50 to 60 mantras taken from Ajurveda and chanted all together in a different way known as Samagana. So Samaveda as such has got only 57 mantras belonging specifically to Samaveda, remaining more than 5,000 from Rigveda and Ajurveda together. But Samaveda is chanted like the fishermen chanting some of the songs when they move towards the sea. We say in Malayalam, Vanji Pata. So Samagana, the deities enjoy that, cherish that when they are invited to the Yagashala. Yaga Devadas are invited to Yagashala and there the offerings are made and when the deities receive the offerings they enjoy the Samagana. But for a common man Samagana those who are experienced in listening the Hindi songs and other things Samagana may not be having any serious effect. But again remember, it is, comp it is the basis of all the Carnatic music and Hindustani music. Samaveda is the basic of all Indian music, including Sarnadara, Sangeeta Ratnagara, based on Samaveda. So Rigveda directly gives you Jnana Kanda, Ajurveda Karma Kanda, Samaveda connected with arts, musics and songs. Adharva Veda. Many people used to ask the question, why Adharva Veda should not be studied? Absolutely nobody has told Adharva Veda has got any problem. It should not be studied. Nobody has told like that. Veda Trai does not mean Rig Veda, Ijur Veda and Samaveda. Veda Trai means the lakshana of Veda, three lakshanas of Veda, Veda Trayi. So, Adharva Veda has got about 40% Rig Veda Mantra. But Adharva Veda's speciality is that it gives the messages connected with the common man's life also. Say for example about 600 types of illness, diseases are mentioned in that and a variety of medicines, particularly plant-based medicines, also mentioned in that. The curing methods of the diseases and the mantra to be chanted while taking the medicine, these are all mentioned in that. In short, we can say Rigveda, Ajurveda and Samaveda explains many things, chanting many mantras, and doing many type of havans directly linked with the spirituality and divinity. Almost the same thing is also available in Adharva Veda, but it deals with human problems directly. So we say when spirituality is in higher level, ordinary human problem is naturally at lower level. So, people misunderstood or might have misunderstood that Adharva Veda is of inferior Veda. But all the rishis who have composed the other mantras, they have also contributed to Adharva Veda. And Adharva Veda mantras very, very strongly used in 
in performing pujas and yagas. So Adarva Veda Mantra directly connects partly with the social problems, human problems. So these are the four Vedas written by more than 200 rishis classified by Veda Vyasa and remember that studying Vedas are not just like studying a chemistry book or anything. It has got so many rules. You should not re, uh, study Veda on the Pradhama, the New Moon Day, the Tadurdashi Day. You should not study Vedas after 12 o'clock. You should not study Vedas during eclipse or torrential rain or thunderbolt or when the when the king or the family members of the king expired or national morning days you have to avoid reading and studying Vedas these conditions are given in Dharma Shastra how to study Veda, when to study, why to study, who should study, from whom it should be studied these are all given but Veda mantras have got a two effect one chanting effect, music, therapeutical effect as you may be knowing that NAT New Age Therapy NAT Veda Mantras are used when I visited Houston two years back one of the senior scientists from NASA was telling me that many computers in NASA many individuals I mean scientists working in NASA, they listen to Veda Mantras while doing the work. When I happened to go to New York, I found Dr. George Martin, who is the MD of a cardiac surgical center. He told that in every room in his hospital, Veda Mantra chanting is being played. So Veda Mantra when you listen that it has got an effect, it can be told as neuro-linguistic effect. When you listen to Veda Mantras closing your eyes and concentrating, it appears that about two dozens of curative chemicals are produced in the brain. Curative chemicals means the hormones which are produced in the brain when you listen to an excellent music or Veda Mantra and these hormones these hormones are responsible for maintaining the brain waves in the perfect condition. 13.8 cycles per second. 13.8 CPS. And the heart to beat can be maintained normally. The blood pressure, the cholesterol level, the adrenaline level. These, these are all due to the production of curative chemicals in the brain which gives a soothing curative effect for the body so when you listen to the Veda Mantra even though you do not know the meaning of that the mere chanting itself can give you an, a, a mental and physical uh, positive change similar example Namaste Radramanya Bhagavato Taishave Namaha Namaste Astodanvane Bhagupyamutate Namaha Yata Yusho Shivatama Shivam Babuvate Danaho Shiva Sharavya Yata Vataya No Rudramadaya When you continuously listen to Veda Mantra, the whole body undergoes spontaneous resting. So we thought in Indian Institute of Scientific Heritage we have to make available all the four Vedas. In fact it is five Veda. Rig Veda, Shukla Veda, Krishna Veda, Sama Veda and Adarva Veda. So digitalized Veda mantras are available. We used to tell everybody whether he is a Hindu, Christian, Muslim or leftist or rightist or anybody. Every day morning and evening you play the CD so that you can listen that for about half an hour and you will become an entirely different person not because of spirituality not because of spirituality or the blessings of the God but the neuro-linguistic effect of that 
so the mantra chanting itself can give you an extremely positive result in the body and mind it shows that vedas are scientific then even without knowing the meaning that is important then one person has asked me a question without knowing the meaning what is the use of studying vedas or listening to vedas you know that when you you are uh, from india and you listen to the the song from titanic music titanic movie you will be getting an entirely thrilled experience in the mind even an american can enjoy many of the hindi songs and like this anyone belonging to any caste creed religion country linguistic background if they listen to a good song they can enjoy even without knowing the meaning exactly like that it is known as the neuro linguistic effect now suppose you know the meaning also you know the meaning also i used to tell to many people very many people i used to inform that even you listen to a song you enjoy that sometimes you feel like crying sometimes you feel like laughing sometimes you will get consolation by listening to that song how you get that feeling of crying you may be feeling like crying or laughing if and only if you know the meaning of that song exactly like that when i chant a mantra you will definitely feel thrilled i repeat what i said earlier a mantra sangachatvam samvadatvam samvomana aam sijanata देवा भागम यदा पूर्वे संजाना उपासते सामनो मंद्र समी सामनी सामना मनस चिमेशा सामन मंद्रमिमंद्रे वन गोह विषाजुमी सामनी वकूति सामनादया वह सामनमस्तु वो मनो यदा आवसु सहासते this is known as the mantra of unity aikamatya sukta you could not understand any meaning but suppose you are listening to this same mantra in a stereo system with a digitalized voice you will feel the thrilling experience of that this is neuro linguistic effect now suppose you know the meaning also that will become a prayer not merely listening it will become a prayer so we the mantras have got two type of effect one neuro linguistic effect if you are listening to that without knowing the meaning if you know the meaning it is known as psycho linguistic effect that will be psychologically affecting you psychologically when it affects you you will feel like following that adopting that practicing that that is what i told you it is the messages from the vedas we get the messages from the vedas we get the guidance from the vedas we get the direction from the vedas we get the, the real blessing directions for elevating the mind elevating the body elevating the family relation elevating the social bondage elevating the national integration and also human relation from where so ever they belong this a al ultimate aim of vedas elevating the mind body family society nation and human race and veda mantra many people used to ask me another question only brahmins can read the vedas chant the vedas listen to the vedas nothing like that actually no where it is told i shall give you one dharma shastra message janmanal jayate madhya by birth we are all ordinary human beings karma nal jayate dvija by opting for a work profession by opting for a profession nowadays you will be known based on that profession is it not when you have taken a medical degree you will be known as a doctor when you have taken a legal degree you will be known as advocate 
when you are taken a chartered accountant you will be known as chartered accountant a clerk a pew a security officer and head clerk director manager assistant manager so many names are there based purely on the profession so janmanal jayate martya by birth you are ordinary human being and by profession you are opting for a second birth second birth means second lifestyle i will say brahma jnanena eva brahmana any one who has studied vedas any one who could understand the meaning and messages of the vedas that particular person is known as brahmana not that brahmana should read the vedas it is the reverse in fact brahma jnanena eva brahmana kevalam yah manushya brahma jnanam prapnoti sa eva brahmana iti namna jnatavya jnanavan very clear no doubt about it at all so many superstitions and the wrong messages are being crept into certain type of uh, practices in the life anyone can study veda mantra any one can but the problem is that studying vedas it is not that easy ten shrutis are there sir udatam anadatam svaditam revam hrasvam prajeyam anunasika kambam dirga kambam plutam it is not that easy say for example apsume somo apraveda ೂದೇ this type of shruti is the musical tone to be incorporated in between the letters musical tone to be incorporated in between the letters of veda mantra that can be learned if you start from the earlier days i mean from your childhood when you are matured it is difficult for you to understand the real uh, real meaning of that i mean meaning of chanting that particular tone if the tone changes the meaning also will change just like we say if the comma changes the sometimes the the message of the total line will be changed so i want to convey you the message that anybody can learn veda study veda provided he has got that tolerance limited patience capacity devotion dedication and sincerity to systematically and systematically study that in its literal sense otherwise the meaning and messages will go wrong and the real aim the motto the goal of studying vedas will not be fulfilled so my message to you instead of trying to study vedas continuously listen vedas listen as many hours as possible that is the best thing i tell this not because you are you are a non brahmin i would like to tell one point in trivandrum many people have studied veda they chant veda including muslims and christians nothing happened to them nothing will happen to them veda mantra should be chanted after studying that from the guru we say guru mukhena sadhitavyam why we say that when it should be learned from a teacher because if you are learning if you are trying to understand the tone of the shruti of veda from a cassette recorder or cd player many of the shrutis will not be clear for you they will be chanting it in a fantastic speed you will not understand where udatam comes where anudatam comes where swaridam apswa andar nahi tasyo you may not even understand where this udatam comes apswa 
abhi you will not understand because when they chant they may be going in a little faster way abhi mama kya a so you will not take that corrected time duration needed for going down going up and then becoming straight that is why from a teacher if you are studying there will not be any confusion for you so it should not be studied by from cds or cassettes it should be studied from the teacher and from the teacher only you will be knowing the rituals and the customs to be practiced for studying vedas and practicing vedas why what when where who whom how vedas should be chanted should not be chanted why what when where who whom how vedas should be chanted or vedas should not be chanted that can be understood only from that so the veda mantras as i told you as a summing up more than 200 rishis composed it veda vyasa divided that into four classes rigveda gives you jnana kanda absolute knowledge ayurveda karma kanda connected with the yagas and yajna sama veda a enchanting uh, through the music sama gana and adarva veda directly giving the messages one more message i will give you remember that when i say rigveda rigveda has got 25 branches the word branch is wrong still i used the branches because in sanskrit it is told shaga shaga means branches but in veda shaga means recension recension rigveda has got 25 recensions known in the name of the particular veda mantra drashtada rishi say for example rigveda shakala shaka some words some mantra some lines some arrangements are done in a particular way in shakala shaka shakala rigveda shaka in bashkala shaka another way of presentation is done say for example in shakala shaka bahu byam namadi sampadatrai dhyava prativi janayandi vayega but in bashkala shaka instead of bahu byam hasta byam is written same meaning no difference but the word changes so uh, ಶಾಖಲಶಾಖ ಶಾಖ ಭಾಸ್ಕಳ ಶಾಖ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯಾಯನ ಶಾಖ ಕೌಶೀತಕಿ ಶಾಖ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಶಾಖ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಾರ್ದ ಫಾರ್ ಋಗ್ವೇದ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಋಗ್ವೇದ ಶಾಖ ಸರ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ನೌ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಡಿಸಪಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಐ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ unfortunately only four rigveda shakas are available now the remaining 21 shakas have got disappeared yajur veda 108 recensions are there of which i think about 20 are available now more than 80 got disappeared so yajur veda you have got two main shakas shukla yajur veda and krishna yajur veda in shukla yajur veda only poems are written and krishna yajurveda only uh, krishna yajurveda prose and poems are given and uh, almost all the yajurveda yajurveda text belong to krishna yajurveda krishna word give you the message gives you the message that it is a mixture of prose and poem shukla the word gives you the message that it is purely poetical only two vedas belonging to yajur veda available in shukla yajur veda that is shukla yajur vediya madhyam dina samhita shukla yajur vediya kanva samhita both these have got 40 chapters the the 40th chapter is ishavasya upanishad so you can see krishna yajur veda nearly 100 recensions are there shukla yajur veda only two that is what i could understand so ajur rigveda has got 25 recensions ajurveda has got 100 and 100 and uh, eight recensions samaveda it is said that 1001 recensions are there only 10 are available now 990 recensions got disappeared adarva veda has got 52 recensions only four or five are available now 
the most authentic uh, Adharma Veda was received in 1890 composed by an Englishman. He is a British ruler, I mean a scholar. He compiled everything and everything and made in the present form taken from the uh, Rishis. So, Rig Veda 25 Shagas, Ijur Veda 108 Shagas. The 108 Shagas of Ijur Veda put together is known as Ijur Veda Vriksha. Ijur Veda Vriksha means the tree of Ijur Veda. And Sama Veda, more than 1000 Shagas. Adharva Veda, 52 Shagas are there. Now, I think you got somewhat an idea about the Veda Mantra. We will be giving some more answers for the questions asked so that we will be understanding the Veda Mantra. So I will chant one mantra and conclude this speech to you. So try to learn more and more. If you go to Google, you give that uh, Vedas, Rig Veda, you can download directly the Veda Mantras. Even you know the meaning or don't know the meaning, nothing is going to happen. It will be having a positive effect. Whenever you are tired, weak or under tension or under worry or problems, try to listen to Veda Mantras. It has got spirituality as well as physical effect in that. It is just like music therapeutic effect, neuro-linguistic and psycholinguistic effects are there. If you chant Veda Mantra, make it sure that the letters and the words are pronounced correctly without mistake, failing which it is bad. So, with these uh, messages, I have taken about 40 questions. Even though I did not repeat them, I did not read the questions, I gave the answer connected with the 40 questions of Vedas. My deep gratitude to each and every one of you. Indian Institute of Scientific Heritage is devoted for learning and teaching. Indian heritage in the true spirit of science, uh, philosophy, logic, and a rational thinking, not blindly doing something or following something. It is scientific, logical and rational way of understanding, practicing and teaching Indian heritage. We Indian Institute of Scientific Heritage is, is pledged for doing that. I request you to go to the uh, website www.iish.org. I request you to go through the Web TV, www.iish.tv. I also would like to tell that one. Indian Institute of Scientific Heritage established in Trivandrum and it has got its center in Trichur, the uh, most cultural capital of Kerala, near Kicheri as National Heritage Center. I request you to visit National Heritage Center and we have brought out about 400 CDs and DVDs and VCDs. We have brought out nearly 100 books. None of the CDs and VCDs have got copyright. If you purchase these things, you can take as many copies as possible and distribute to others for learning our dharma, for preserving our dharma, for, for maintaining and uplifting the culture of India. As Swami Vivekananda said, if Christianity vanishes from India, nothing will happen. If Islam vanishes from India, nothing will happen. If Hindu Dharma, Sanatana Dharma vanishes from India, India will become the graveyard of the world. I told this line to you to make it sure that that Sanatana Dharma, Indian culture, Indian heritage being appreciated, accepted, understood, analyzed and uh, uh, fantastic way of research and developments are going on in Indian heritage. The world is turning to India. At that time, Indian heritage and Indian culture and Indian values should be made available for everyone in the world. So all these messages will be available uh, in Indian Institute of Scientific Heritage as VCDs. It will also be available in the in the website. It will be available in the YouTube. You can freely download and you can take copy and distribute to others. My deep gratitude to each and every one of you. Thank you very much. My pranams.